Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O Comforter of the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasure of good things and giver of life, come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen, brethren. Um, for yesterday, it was our first year anniversary, and instead of doing the whole prologue for yesterday, today we decided to do the hymn of praise with some extra prayers. So God bless you all, and thank you for listening. Hymn of Praise, the Holy Martyr Thalaleus. O tens, O men, O angels, in suffering at the moment of death, Thalaleus pray to God, O Lord, creator of the world, thine is the mercy, thine is the vengeance. To thee I pray, prolong my life, that for thee I may endure more pain. In truth, little have I endured in order to merit thy kingdom. Horrible were the sufferings on Golgotha, horrible sufferings were endured by the sinless one. For sinners they should be more horrible, that being tortured they may be cleansed, and worthily receive salvation. That which the most wonderful Thalaleus prayed for was granted him by God. His petitions were precious, God permitted him abundant sufferings, to the end Thalaleus endured all, all with joy and with thanksgiving, from suffering to suffering he went, as from celebration to an even greater celebration, thus the saying glorifies orthodoxy. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto orthodox Christians victory over enemies, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. O thou who was lifted up willingly on the cross, bestow thy mercies upon the new community named after thee, O Christ God, gladden with thy power the orthodox Christians, granting them victory over enemies. May they have as thy help the weapon of peace, the invincible trophy. The epistle reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Now when Paul and his party set sail from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia, and John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch and Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. And after the reading of the law and the prophet, the rulers of the synagogue sent to them, saying, Men and brethren, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, say on. Then Paul stood up and mentioning with his hand said, Men of Israel, and you who fear God, listen, the God of his people Israel chose our fathers, and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. And with an uplifted arm he brought them out of it. Now for a time of about forty years 
He put up with their ways in the wilderness. And when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he distributed their land to them by allotment. After that he gave them judges for about 450 years, until Samuel the prophet. And afterward they asked for a king, so God gave them Saul, the son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, for forty years. And when he had removed him, he raised up for them David as king, to whom also he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. From this man's seed, according to the promise, God raised up for Israel a Savior, Jesus. After John had first preached before his coming, the Baptist of repentance to all the people of Israel. The reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Then Jesus lifted up his eyes, and seeing a great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But this he said to test him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two small fish, but what are they among so many? Then Jesus said, Make the people sit down. Now there was much grass in the place, so the men sat down in number about five thousand. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed them to the disciples, and the disciples to those sitting down, and likewise of the fish, as much as they wanted. So when they were filled, he said to his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, so that nothing is lost. Therefore they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which were left over of those who had eaten. And those men, when they had seen the sign that Jesus did, said, This is truly the prophet who is to come into the world. It is truly me to bless thee, Theotokos, for whatever blessed and all blameless in the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, Bianca Pell, more glorious than the seraphim, thou with all corruption gave it birth to God the word, and our truly Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, through the intercession of thine Immaculate Mother, and of all thy saints, have mercy upon us and save us. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind. Amen. This video was created by John and Catherine. Thank you and God bless.